moment and look at the first person sitting right next to you. Unless you're looking in a mirror, you will probably see someone who is completely different than you are. Now consider a scenario where you both get sick with seasonal flu. What you will both do is visit your doctor, you will then get examined and he will confirm that it's flu. He will then give the same flu medication to both of you. I think about this process for a second. If the two of you are completely different people, how could you possibly receive the same medication to treat your illness? Is this the way medicine should be? Of course not. Medicine should be more accurate than this. It should be personalized to each of our needs. But unfortunately, even now in 21st century, this is not the way medicine works. How can we fix this? Well, first steps over personalized medicine were made roughly 30 years ago with the introduction of so-called lab-on-chip devices. These devices span only a few centimeters in size, but they can do remarkable things. These devices can host human cells, for example, and we can then examine human cells for a different type of biochemical inputs. There are even lab-on-chip devices today that can model human organs, so we can talk about concepts like having brain on a chip or lung on a chip, you name it. Quite remarkable, right? As engineers, we always like to think about parallelization and scalability. So we thought, okay, if one lab-on-a-chip device is so amazing, just imagine what a network of interconnected lab-on-chip devices could do. This is exactly what we do here at JKU. We build microfluidic networks of interconnected lab-on-chip devices, and I'm holding one right here in my hand. Now, think about possibilities here. If one lab-on-a-chip device could model one human organ like brain or lung or stomach, then a network of interconnected lab-on-chip devices could model actual human body. So we could talk about the concept of having human body on a chip. We could build me on a chip or even you on a chip. And this would be true personalized medicine. It was also important for us to make this technology globally accessible and affordable, so we pay special attention to the cost of the device and ease of use. So we can now fabricate these devices in under 5 minutes per device and for a cost of only 0.5 US dollars per device. These devices are completely biodegradable and biocompatible as well. What I'm holding in my hand right here is an opportunity of having completely personalized medicine someday, and this is the way medicine should be. What we have to do now is make sure that the science of today indeed becomes our technology of tomorrow.